this week, boys and girls, we started working with this number here. Do you remember what number that is? That's the number 11. Okay, this is the number 11. And the number of the 11 is a 1, 1. Let's count the turtles together, the sea turtles. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, do you remember what this number is? Zero. Remember, zero. How many can we count? Nothing. Zero means nothing. Okay, remember this number? What is that one? Three. Let's count together. One, two, three. And what is this one? Remember that number? It has the opening on the top. Number nine. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now look at this one. If this is a nine, what number do you think that one is? Six. Remember the nine has the opening on the top. The six has the opening on the bottom. Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, what is that one? Two. One, two. And what is that number? Four. Let's count. One, two, three, Four. What is this number here? Number seven. Let's count the sharks together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, do you remember this one? This is number five. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. And what about that one? That's number eight. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you remember this one? Yeah, everybody knows that one. That's number one. Okay, and what about this one? Remember when we have a one and a zero together? What is that number called? Do you remember? That's ten. Let's count the snails together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember when you're counting, one finger pointing to each item one at a time. Now, this is number ten. The other day we were working with number eleven. Do you know what number comes after eleven? Ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to start working with number twelve today. And the number 12 is a 1 and a 2. Now, I want to show you something. The 10 is a 1 and a 0. 11 is a 1 and a 1. And a 12 is a 1 and a 2. So we have 0, 1, 2. So here we have the number 12. And 12 is spelled T-W-E-L-V-E. 12. All right, we're going to count the fish together. Now, it's getting harder. The higher the number, the more objects it is, the harder it gets to count. So you have to be care very careful. You're going to go one at a time, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So this is the number 12. Everybody say that. 12. So whenever you see a 1 and a 2 together, what number is it? It's number 12. Now I want to show you something. We use the number 12 a lot. Does anybody know what this is? What is that? Okay. Now this is an egg carton. What comes in an egg carton? Eggs, right? Mommy and Daddy go to the store. They buy, they buy eggs. It usually comes in a carton. Now, sometimes it's a clear plastic carton like this. Sometimes it's cardboard, sometimes it's like a foam. Okay, it could be different colors depending on the brand or, or the size of the eggs. But inside the egg carton, it has these little, these little openings. And in an egg carton, there's usually 12 eggs or a dozen. So we say 12 is a dozen. Okay, so when you buy a, a carton or a dozen of eggs, there's going to be 12 eggs. Now what we're gonna do, I um took the bottom part of one of my egg containers and what we're going to do today since we were counting 12 fish 
we're going to actually count out 12 fish. And I have, you know what these are, everybody likes these, what are these? Yeah, the goldfish. Who likes goldfish? I know, I like goldfish too. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our egg carton and we're going to count out 12 fish. Okay, I'm going to have you count them with me. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in every space, just like you'd put an egg in each space. Okay, count with me now. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so now remember, we have the number twelve. A twelve is a one and a two. So I put in twelve or a dozen fish into my container. Now, egg cartons are really cool because we can use them to um, sort things, like for counting, or we can use them for sorting things, like things that are the same color, or the same size, or the same shape, all different kinds of things, or the same object, like these are all fish. Maybe you want to put 12 pennies, or you can put um, 12 crayons, or well, anything, okay? So, egg cartons are really good for counting and sorting, things like that. So now, since we were counting, the best part about if you use goldfish, you can eat them when you're all done. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this paper here, okay, and it says count number 12, count and trace. So on the top, how many goldfish, how many fish do you think we're going to have? Right, 12. And we see the number 12 on the top. Now, I want to show you something. Okay, over here, you see this number one? They kind of made it fancy. When we write our number 12, we don't make that little fancy thing on there, okay? But sometimes you might see it printed with that little, almost like a little flag on the top. I don't know why. When we make it, we just make it with a straight line down. All right, so we have the number 12. And what we're going to do is let's count our goldfish together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our, take your orange crayon, okay? Take your orange crayon because it's kind of like the color that our goldfish, it's kind of like a orangey color. Take your orange crayon. We're going to color the goldfish. Now, remember, do we want to do this all across our goldfish at one time? No, because you want to do one at a time so we can count them as we're coloring them. We're going to go to 12. All right, you ready with me? Let's start at the top. We're going to count and color each one, one at a time. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Six, let's see what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes next? Seven, seven, and then we have eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now when you're counting, it's always a good idea if you start on the top and go from top to bottom 
and left to right, okay? Because when you start jumping around like this, it makes it a lot harder to count. So let's count together again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we can go back and take another color, whatever color you wanna make it, and you can color in the one and the two. Now remember, this is a fancy one. We don't usually do that. We just usually go up and down like this. Okay, we usually just have a straight one. This is usually how we would make the one. Okay, but you can go back and you can fill in that little fancy thing if you want there. And then the number two goes this way. Now before we do the bottom of our paper, I'm going to show you how we actually make the number 12. Okay, now I'm just going to turn my paper over for just a second. And I want to show you when we make the number 12, remember the number 12 is a 1 and a 2. So when we make the number 12, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down for the number 1. And then for the number 2, we're going to go up, slant to the bottom almost looks like half of a heart, right? And then slide across. So what number is that? 12. There's the one, and then the two goes up and around and slide across. Make sure you come to a stop when you get down to the bottom down here, otherwise it's gonna look kind of like an S. Now, back on this side here, down at the bottom, we're going to trace our number 12. Now you can use a black crayon, you can use a green crayon, you can use a purple crayon, Try to use one that has a bit of a point on it, okay, because it makes it easier when you're tracing if you use a crayon that has a, a bit of a point to it, okay? Especially when you're gonna do something small like this. So let's try our number 12. We're gonna start again and go top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it together. And remember, where are we looking? At our paper. Good job, okay. So the number 12, we make the one, we're gonna go right on those dotted lines. And then the two, we go up, slant to the bottom, make sure you stop at the corner, and across. Okay, just like when mommy and daddy are driving the car, they get to a stop sign at the corner, they have to stop. Okay, you don't wanna pick up your, pet, your crayon, but you wanna stop. Okay, let's do the next one. Make your one, go straight down, and make the number two. You're gonna go at the top, go up, slant to the bottom and stop, just like it's half of a heart and now slide across the bottom. Okay, you ready? Let's try it again. Start at the top. You're gonna slant down to the bottom. Always start at the top of your numbers when we're writing, whether it's a letter or a number, we always start at the top. And then the number two, we go up, slant down, come to a stop, and slide to the right. Okay, let's come down to our bottom row. What number are we making? 12, good. All right, you ready? You're gonna go down, and now we're gonna do the number two. Up, around, and across. All right, let's try it again. Go straight down, pick up your crayon. Now go back to the number two, go to the top, go up and around to the bottom. Make sure you stop at the corner, slide to the right. Okay, one more time, you ready? Slant down, or straight down. Pick up your crayon, let's do the number two. Up slant to the bottom, and slide across. So what number are we making? Number 12, we're gonna count our fish one more time. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So what number are we making? 12, good job.